installing the new visor that I got for the truck, as you guys see. Um, I pretty much got area, the main brackets and stuff mounted on the truck already. And uh, I just wanted to take a break to show you guys some of the modifications that I had to do. So what I have here is the old visor that I had on the truck. Uh, it was kind of fading on the paint. Uh, I was going to touch it up, but then I decided, well, if I'm gonna buy, if I'm gonna buy a new one, I'll just uh, rather not mess with it. Um, so as you can see, it has the factory style brackets, uh, like the factory um, visor, and it came with just five lights. But I added these two. I added that that one and i added the one on the end down here um and basically i just tapped it in this blue wire here as you can see it is basically just tapped in heat strength in and i put some uh electric tape around it just to add extra security um it measures 12 as a matter of fact let me get, grab my tape measure and i can show you in the middle guys we have i can't get this thing Stay right. we have exactly uh, a little on the 15. we're right at 15. so uh that's the length of it how far it drops um but basically everything is just um, plug and play on it. And I bought this one from Big Red Chrome Shop. Um, you guys can find it. This style visor from there also. It had to be custom made. I'll show you guys the back side. Um, this is the back side. Just had a little bit more detailed pieces that had to be uh, put together other than the new one that I got. And I also made this to, to go on the uh, visor. But yeah, that's pretty much it on this one. I got the new visor painted up, ready to go. Uh, I... I was going to take it, well, I was going to put it on uh, one piece at a time, but I don't know, man. I may just uh, leave it hooked up. I got a little chip right here. I don't know how they got there. I don't think I put enough uh, primer on the bottom side. Uh, nine times out of ten, when it starts chipping like that, you know, uh, once it chip in one spot, it's going to it's, it's gonna always chip easily. I'm, I may touch that up uh, with something to touch it up, but I don't think, I, I know I didn't put enough prime on the bottom side, but it's fine, I'll, I'll fix it. Also painted the screws uh, to go on the outside of the visor, just, you know, so it'll be completely white. I just basically use some of these back guys and finished product I really like how it turned out um, I, I love this visor man I really do it gives me the drop that I've been missing honestly um, I mean this talk about a drop though comparison to the first visor that I had it's a big difference, a real big difference. I still gotta add lights. Honestly, the light should be at home right now. So I'll just come uh, put them on in the morning, hook them up. Also gotta put the spacers on the exhaust tomorrow. And I'll be finished with these two projects. But uh, yeah, I mean, I like it. Looks real good on there. Now, like I mentioned earlier, that this visor does not 
mount directly to the factory uh the factory visor spots you will have to drill so i had to drill uh i thought it would have been kind of difficult but it actually turned out okay just a lot of measuring you gotta do uh to make sure you um you have the brackets lined up with the visor um what i did was i just measured from uh the holes that mount up with the brackets i just measured measured from those point to the next point this is the inside view good bit of drop real good bit of drop because my first one it uh the first one came down to about right there somewhere and it kind of went mm, up like that but this one it is it's a real big difference uh real big comparison real big difference in comparison so I, I really like this thing, man. It it gives you that that uh, aggressive style, you know, with closing off at least half of that window right there. This, I like it. And keeps a lot of sun out. Well, the sun is not out right now, but I'm sure it will. Uh, it was also another piece that I got that supposed went in the middle, but I didn't like it because it actually pushed it out a little bit more and I wanted it, you know, closer to the uh, glass. And the way that I mounted it, I'll show you that my wipers still work. This radio probably gonna be loud. Okay. So, wipers work proper. Not hitting anything. that's what you want you can get that drop on it but uh well you can get that that flat glass look but uh just make sure you have enough clearance with the wiper well that's going to conclude this video guys thank y'all for uh supporting the channel subscribing uh if you have any questions about this installation um comment below I try my best to answer it. If you guys are looking into getting a visor that got a you know a good bit of drop on it, uh, you know a really good bit of drop on it, I recommend this one. Um, it's not really a lot of details that you have to do to put it together. Real simple. My first one, like I said, it had a lot of details, uh, a lot of small things to connect here and there. And you know it was just it just took a lot of time but this one actually didn't take that time that much time uh the most time that took out of my day as uh installing it was getting the measurements uh, uh the measurements and the placements on where i wanted the brackets to be pay real close attention to that because if you get it all just by a little bit you gotta you know you gotta you gotta redrill um so yeah, but uh, subscribe to the channel, guys. Uh, I gotta go catch this SEC championship game, man. You know, road tide.